Jeff with Petsu Craft. I wanted to do a little video to show you the basics of how to build a laminated combing. As you can see in front of me, you need a big stack of clamps. You need a form which you can make from the templates in your drawing. Uh, now our plans show a stacked plywood combing, which works just fine. I prefer the look of this one, uh, the laminated is sewn in place. I'm going to show you the highlights of how to make it. Some thin strips here, but maybe if you don't have a bandsaw, you may know somebody that does. This is just a one inch piece of maple. The board ran this way. I ripped it down inch and a half, then turned it edgeways, ran it through the saw, and cut it into approximately 3 30 second strips. So I'm going ahead and applying my glue real quick. Using Type Bond 3 waterproof glue. You can use epoxy. I don't have any problem with epoxy. It's just expensive and you Type Bond works fine. You don't need epoxy on this. Alright, I'm going to start. You want to work rather quickly. There's no panic. The glue sets up slow. This is where I like the table. It helps me to hold this into place. And I'm going to butt that right up against the old one. I'm going to glue drip while it's moving the camera. I'm going to put up that in place and I'm just going to clamp it for a second with a spring clamp. Get it held in place, get it started, and make sure it stays flat. That's been one of my big problems. Uh, I'm going to need two or three clamps right there just to hold it. Again, this is temporary. I'm going to go back to the C clamp there. Alright. Pull it around. Just watch for gaps. Put the clamps as you need them. The sides are not so bad. The curves are where you run into issues. All right, now before I go any further, come right back here. I'm going to take a hammer, tap it down in place. And I put a block of wood in here. Keep from splitting because these C clamps will put a good bit of pressure and you can split the wood. I've done it a couple times. I say I do something, it's usually because I've learned it the hard way. It's getting tight. I like to see a little glue squeeze out. Alright. The heat gun will just, it's, it's amazing. It'll just, as it gets hot, it just gets easier to bend. I'm not applying any more pressure, it's just giving in to me. So you see the, the idea there. Take the clamp, pull it up. This is always an area right here that gives me a little problem. Watch, make sure it's sitting down flush. There we go. Get a nice squeeze out around. I'm going to go ahead and use these clamps here because I know this is an area that usually does not go well. Made it around the corner of the big bend, the little bend. Now we go to the big bend. I'll go ahead and apply some more glue. Need another clamp there. That pulled up pretty well. I'm going to put a little one right there in that gap. And just slowly bend it around. I'm using eight foot strips and they do overlap the joint I made over here. So I'm going to have to see that bending out. I'm going to have to take that loose and work it over it. And now I'm going to take this loose where I made that joint a minute ago. That's where we started. Go ahead and put a couple clamps before it. Get these after it, get one. I wouldn't put two, I don't know if you can see it. I still got a gap there, now I've got to pull that tight. Get that push. And I use that little block of wood. Lock that up tight. And 